So let's see the pickup to speed, flooring it. Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai in Gear Cars. And the cars I have behind me today, as you can see, are Hyundai Granger, or also known as Azera for North American markets. I have the Serenity White Pearl on the exterior, and all the models here are 3.5 calligraphy model with fully loaded option. And it slapped on some 20 inch wheels, but today is more about the drive. And so I'll give you and show you all about it inside the car. Don't miss out my exterior review right up of here, which I've gone through both in and out of the car in detail. So if you're curious about those things, go check the video out. In those videos, I mentioned little details like these grandeur written on the door handle the auto flush door handle, this uniquely grandeur D quarter panel as well. So do not miss that out. Well, let's get in. This is the car I have here today and let's get started and get behind this wheel of 2023 Hyundai Granger, AKA Azera. For your information, this car is now a true flagship of Hyundai because well now Hyundai gets a Genesis brand so this really makes the car the flagship of all so and let's go behind the wheel and test out and see if it lives up to the title the flagship of the brand I am inside the Hyundai Granger behind the steering wheel this car is just all about the drive I really have high hopes for that I've been driving just a few kilometers now but I can already sense the very difference. Throughout today's drive, I want to give you a very first impression on the car and everything here I am new to as well. So the GUI that's been completely redesigned for this Granger and it's the first time ever on Hyundai Motor Group car. Expect to see more of that on future brand new cars as well. If you are driving a Hyundai Motor Group cars, you get used to this in a heartbeat. And also the automatic cruise control, it's exactly the same thing. It's on the left button steering wheel column and you'll find everything right away. It's very self-explanatory direct and intuitive hooked up with the navigation system and also the gps the navigation knows that i'm on the freeway and when i am on a freeway the hda light comes up and uh, one hidden function comes back on which is the automatic lane assist as well so press down the turn signal it will also automatically change the lane for you it's supported with the four-way automatic steering wheel telescopic feature once again leaving up to the name and the title as the flagship of Hyundai it's got the flag type window glass right here and this portion is super thick it's got six 60 millimeters or six centimeters is also contributed to upgraded and better NVH, which stands for noise vibration and harshness. And I have the mic attached right here directly, and it's also the mic doing, however, it's really, really quiet on the highway. Hyundai Granger, for the first time ever, they have implemented cardless a carless highway expressway system and here in korea we call high pass and that high pass actually requires a physical card for the first time ever from manufacturers honda has implemented the e-pass and you can go past the toll gate without having to stop and there is no physical card associated with that i am actually driving the 3.5 v6 model top of the line one of the most powerful engine that hyundai motor group has and it's associated with eight speed automatic and it just shifts and drives flawless using the pedal shifters right here and i can see Wow, it would actually push all the way down to the third gear, fourth, sixth, seventh. Uh, getting back to the NVH and also this uh, flag type glass, Hyundai has done on this Granger is just check this out. They have the frameless window. A couple generations back, Hyundai also had this frameless window on a, a Granger as well. Let's use the lane change and press hold. And I barely have my hand on the steering wheel but it just changed the lane on its own just like that. This is more smooth than the previous ones. 
I can definitely feel more of a seamless transition between the shifts and changing the lanes. I really like the fact that the, how the techs are getting better and better every single time. They won't just stop at a certain point and uh, just let it be, but rather they are upgrading on every single thing. And that being said, I actually want to mention about the E-Ride on a Hyundai Granger hybrid it gets. So this car is not equipped with it, with it because it's a 3.5 gasoline model. A hybrid comes with what? A motor, a motor, right? And first, the Hyundai Motor Group implemented that on the Kia Sportage hybrid. Speed bump, not braking. Oh, yeah, right there, I felt it. So right there, I felt it, the, the E-Ride kicking in. What the E-Ride does is that it will utilize the motor to provide a counter movement. Whenever you go over a speed bump and also the harsh road conditions, car will actually utilize the motor to offset and counteract the movement that are contributed to the pitching of the car. The pitching is the front and back movement of the car, the rolling are left and right, but with that motor and the tech, it can lower the pitching of the car. And I could definitely feel that whenever I went over a speed bump. And that is exactly the same for Hyundai Granger, but the E-Ride got the version two. Comes with the very fine details that I could only test out whenever I actually get a chance to drive the car, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm personally really curious about that because not only does that reduce the pitching of the car, further enhancing the ride quality of the car, but also, it actually would provide more power on a necessary wheel whenever you make the turns. So when you make a left turn, there is more weight on the right wheels. The motor will aid more power to those right wheel, hence providing the better cornering. And I actually switched over because I wanna show you a car that is um, approaching from my behind. A lot of people criticize that it looks like Staria on the front, which you'll find right on my left, right there. And it's also white. All right, so uh, sorry I'm jumping around here and there, but just the uh, things that I want to catch up on well, whenever I get the chance, so I had to go over that. We are now inside the tunnel, the worst condition for NVH, and I also have the sunroof open, with the shades open, I mean, because I have the camera attached, super quiet. And I have, we have four lanes, and this is the fast going highway tunnel. I can sense the noise is coming off from the wind uh, sunroof the most at the moment, but I can barely hear anything from the each sides of the windows. I am on the first lane, and this is where the noises are, are getting stri striking off from the wall right there, and it gets really, really loud. And well, let me kind of show you how loud it is. <laughs> you hear that? It's super loud, very loud by windows up. Yes. Great job, Hyundai, great job. I mean, this is what a every flagship car should have. I would stop recording whenever I'm in a tunnel because the audio is, isn't just good. And also, of course, we can't forget about the visuals, but I'm just going because I have faith in Granger. <laughs> so if you move your hand over it will show you what each buttons do so it's also very direct and intuitive this is my favorite every time i hop in a car whenever i see an ergo motion seat feature i use it <laughs> and i'll make the lane change once again on its own i'm just keeping my hand on the steering wheel and it just makes the beautiful lane change like so the steering wheel um hyundai calls it one spoke steering wheel but technically it's actually three spoke it's connected right here this is the homage to the first generation granger back then it literally had this one spoke in the middle and that was it. However, for the safety reason, plus um, the sturdiness of the steering wheel, they made it out of the three spoke, but carved this part in so deep. So it kind of gives you that illusion of making it look like a one spoke steering wheel. There is the drive mode button in the middle and check this out right here. You can change drive modes and whenever I do that, it's going to light up sequentially like so. In the drive modes, I can see there's the Eco, Normal, Sport, My Drive, where you can customize your drive settings. And there is Snow. 
So uh, this time around, uh, this would probably come in very handy. Test driver I have is the all-wheel driver and I can see the weight distribution, power distribution in real time and no wonder why there is a snow mode for that. And associated with the drive mode, now I'm in a darker tunnel, check that out. I love that. The colors are different for each drive mode and it just goes along with the overall ambient light and even the ambient lights here, the colors here change as well. So this fine detail that Hyundai has paid attention to is what really makes the difference, what makes it a flagship. All right, this blind spot monitor comes in really handy when making lane changes and also especially during the nighttime when you get and also poor weather when you have poor visibility. Uh, it really has a strong stability and also wow the steering wheel control all right a little heavy turn here going in hot no understeer it just controls and hugs the car all right and i definitely love this white and white interior the suede with the bose premium sound system and also they have used a high gloss finish here but this is not just the same high gloss that you've seen throughout and I wouldn't really say it's smudge free, fingerprint free or fingerprint proof for that matter. No, it's not. It's actually getting better and better. It will definitely be cleaned much more easier with a few rubs like that and you get a decent towel. It's going to go away just, just like that. And over here, let's um, pick up some speed. Flooring in a sports mode and yes. I can hear a lot of roars on the engine notes. And brakes, turns. Look at this, the power is there. And the brakes. All right, so, well, this is grandeur, right? You're not gonna put this car on a track, but whenever you need some power, it's there whenever you're merging into the lanes and such, it's there so you can rely on that one. So everything here is dedicated for the AC, setting your temperature inside the car and there is a cool button, warm. I love the display here, look at that. Comfort and clean. Just the, literally at the tap, you can control the settings uh, to your desire and defroster right there and the ventilated systems. Oh, you can control the rears as well. Very intuitive, easy to use. I had a little bit of a difficulty at a showroom when I first met the Granger, but now I have no problem with this whatsoever. So this system is completely dedicated for the AC. The GUI I talked about, I actually want to go into a detail because look at this, go into the setup, the vehicle. Actually, you can press down and look at that you can switch it around so you can have your frequently used um, systems in here and also you can see the ambient light is associated with the speed camera with the navigation system all right merging into highway once again so let's see the pick up the speed flooring it so it takes some time for the transmission to engage and find the sweet spot the 8-speed automatic provides that smooth drive compared to the dual-clutch transmissions, DCT. Um, the automatic 8-speed provides much more gradual and smoother drive all around. So DCTs are focused towards the performance-oriented cars such as Hyundai Ns. Look at this. this it's, it's the luxury everywhere. From the interior, the way the steering wheel feedback feels like, and definitely the suspension the way it goes over the speed bumps and the rough condition roads, it really makes the comfortable drive experience. And I cannot forget about the Ergo Motion seat, of course. Have these on, run some heated seats, ah, a cozy drive during the winter time, like the times of now. I wanna to touch up on the GUI of the Granger. And now you can see I got used to the system already. They threw in some of the favorite features here, as you can see. 
and wow you can actually see a different set of the navigation system you can have the overall view to see if you're going to the right way and directions something that i need it from time to time you can zoom out using this tune button on hyundai motor group cars a lot of people seem to be not knowing it but this comes really really handy like i'm doing right now so you can have the weather you can have <laughs> it's even telling me the fifa the world world cup results and you see this um hda i definitely can feel that it's got an upgrade it's got better than previous ones at least it's got much better than the one that i have on my kia seltos so look at that even the turns like these you'd know what i mean if you drive a hyundai motor group car this is quite an upgrade for sure and Granger is actually going to put up a lot of fight with Genesis G80 because uh, fully loaded Granger, you can actually look into getting yourself a Genesis G80, probably the very uh, lowest trim, which I have right there. Which one would you get if you could get a Granger versus Genesis G80? And of course, it's the loaded option for the Granger, and it's like a nothing, a base model for Granger G80. But one thing that actually differentiates this car from the other is the real wheel drive being the front wheel drive. Granger gets much, much more space than Genesis G80 on the second row seat. You be the judge. Tell me in the comment below which car you uh, prefer some of the exterior of other Granger and this one right here is actually the black ink model so we can see that it's completely blacked out on the wheels the front bumper the chrome part so mostly think of it as like a chrome delete version that we would do but the manufacturer Hyundai did it for us and this car only comes in a black and white exterior and interior it's only black and behind of this car it's the same thing the badge the lettering it's all completely blacked out as we can see so blacked out emblem Granger versus a regular one i love the colors that hyundai motor group is recently pumping out especially the matte colors so look at these and that bronze color looks just perfect with all these Grangers and that 20 inch wheels i can't believe the ride quality that they pumped out is with that 20 inch wheels so this gray color is as bright as this granger exterior gets i'll be including the exact name right now but as we can see most of the grangers are dull colors or i want to say dark colors they're not necessarily dull but very dark ah just look at that that black ink model definitely stands out from the crowd, don't you think? So we can see that there is the uh, Serenity White Pearl and also some new colors introduced on Granger first. And there is the Abyss Black Pearl. So most of the colors that we have seen on Hyundai Ioniq 6 is still there with a few colors exclusive for Hyundai Granger as well. All the colors that we have seen from Hyundai Ioniq 6 are mostly carried over. All right, so we are now on our way back and it blends in with the rest of the traffic just like so. I like the sequential turn signals. Some people criticize the fact that that is located so lower to the bumper and that is because of the regulations because the turn signal cannot be using the same lights as the brake lights. And that is all World Korea. Not so sure about the rest of the world, but manufacturers have to come up with a regulation requirement that actually meet around the entire globe, right? So hence the reason. Turn, heavy turn right here, holding up great. I wanna test out the sport mode. Another one going in strong, but no understeer. It's holding the car, just look at this. It's gripping the car just beautifully. So he didn't turn the headlights on. So that is just the DRL. Uh, you see how the DRLs on the left and right are kind of a brighter compared to the one in the middle. It's not broken, 
the DRL on Hyundai Granger is one continuous horizontal bar, but that also is because of the regulation. The left and the right has to be visible, and, and I hope he would turn on the headlights, but <laughs> I think he forgot. This Granger design is one of a kind. It is very simple. It may look like at a glance, but attention to the fine detail, it makes it all different. And I can have the parking cam, just look how clear that is and, and con control all that. Self-explanatory as well. And speaking of that, another brand new technology implemented on this Granger is the second generation built-in cam. The built-in cam now can record the audio as well. So it's all inside right here. And now you don't have to worry about getting into an accident and having no proof. You all have that on board. This is the microphone that actually detects the noise coming into the cabin. It shoots out the frequencies that actually counter the noise coming into the cabin. So hence canceling out. So that's not only implemented on the driver's seat, passenger seat, but there are more on the rear seats as well. So the blind is actually stretching out all on its own and fully automatic. How is that possible? Well, there is a support in the middle, just sitting so flush and it just goes into the window like that, almost invisible. You can't really find all of that. All right, so I now have Serenity White Pearl Granger in front of me. That horizontal line really, really stands out. It's making a strong statement on the street. The rear reflector located at the bottom and also those are reverse lights it has a strong guideline as well. I'll try to capture you that if I get the chance. So it has the power, the brakes. Wow. It really handles the dive in the best way possible, I would say. It is really smooth and uh, the pitching is well controlled. It doesn't like just dives down into the ground right away, but it rather gives that gentle, gradual feedback so you know what the car is going to behave like. And although this car is currently geared and marketed towards the domestic markets, but this will slowly make its way to overseas if possible. I mean, if there is a demand, why not? I think Hyundai has done a great job coming up with their own definition of luxury, and that is all portrayed and shown in Granger. So if you are in the market of looking for a luxury full-size saloon and sedan, I think Hyundai Granger would definitely make a strong competitor over G80s and other full-size sedans. All right, so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like Car Scene Korea if you did. And I'll be coming up with more videos on Granger. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, a little strong brakes. Let's see what it does.